Welcome to RE Uncut. Our daily shows are supported by Printforce, Shore Agents, Rock End, and Core Logic. Hello and welcome to the show. We are going to be talking to Jed Xavier today, as we have been all week, and working off his mantra that uh, hardship doesn't develop character, it actually exposes it. Nothing truer than today when we talk about resilience. Um, just keeping on pumping through. It'll join me in just a moment. Your business card is a vital selling tool and a constant visual reminder of who you are, what you do, and more importantly, how you can be contacted. Introducing our new Velvet Business Cards, featuring a luxurious premium laminate that has a velvet texture and is soft to the touch. Printed on a resilient 450 GSM card, these cards can be printed with a range of spot gloss and foiling options to give your office that prestigious look. Jet Xavier with me once again. What's your website, Jet? Uh, JetXavier.com. Or you can go to jetsmindsethacks.com forward slash ebook and you'll pick up some goodies there as well. Absolutely. We'll make sure there's a link on every one of the shows. Let's talk about resilience, uh, mate. It's, it's, as I said at the open there, it's about punching through, keeping going. Yeah, so if perspective is about how you see things and optimism is how you respond to things, then resilience is what action you take. And, you know, it's important in these times that we say resilience and resilient is simply pushing forward regardless of what's going on around you. So it doesn't matter what's happening, the world could be falling apart, but being resilient is about going, okay, yeah, this might not be ideal, but I need to keep pushing forward. And a great example of that is Taria Pitt, who got caught in a fire and nearly got burnt to death. Here's a lady that continually is challenged day to day, uh, you know, through the injuries that she sustained, um, but continues to go, hang on a second, I got a choice to give up because of the circumstances, or I make a choice to continue to push forward towards my goal. And so what people do, Kevin, is stuff happens around us and we look at that stuff and we get overwhelmed by it and disheartened and despondent and depressed by it and we give up. Resilient people acknowledge what's going on and say, hang on a second, don't like where I'm at at the moment, I need to get out of this, what do I need to take action on to push forward? And Terea Peters certainly showed that, she did have children, does triathlons, is a great speaker, um, because she just makes a decision every day. What is an action I need to take to move forward? Resilience is the action that we need to take on a day-to-day -day basis. So for those listening today and what, watching, it's important that you ask yourself the question, am I focused on the circumstances around me or am I focused on the goal and the vision in front of me? Big difference. Yesterday in the show, we, we talked about routine. I want to sort of hark on that a little bit because I think that these two are related a little bit in terms of, you know, unfortunately, when we go through a tough time, right, there's some of the things that we drop off first to the things we shouldn't like out of our routine exercise. You know, I find that exercise gets the endorphins going. And if I if I am negative and I do a bit of exercise, it does actually swing me around. I, become, I, I have a totally different outlook on things, Jet. That's because the chemicals in your body are being elicited and, you know, you're responding to that. Endorphins, serotonin, oxytocin, dopamine, all those chemicals are coming up and you feel good. And, you know, yesterday we talked about optimism. That helps with optimism. It helps build in routine because you build a habit around feeling good. It's like people eat too much chocolate because it feels good. <laughs> they build a habit around it. So it's definitely an important thing as far as optimism. And resilience is the same. You've got to build a routine of taking the most important action you need to take on a day-to-day -day basis or you won't do it. Uh, it's really important that you understand that. And if you don't have clarity around what your goal is or what your vision is either, that's hard. It makes it hard then for you to push through when the going gets tough. You know, with Taria Pitt, uh, you know, hardship doesn't develop character. It exposes it. And she certainly shows that because she says, this is what I'm this is what I'm pushing for. This is where I'm going. This is what I want to achieve. And she doesn't let anything around her uh, stop her from doing that. Yeah, exercise is one thing, isn't it? But it's actually creating that environment around yourself, the, giving yourself permission to really look after yourself 
and improve uh, the way you are, Jet? Well, well, there's an element of resilience in everything we do, Kevin. So getting out of bed in the morning and exercising requires resilience because you, you're waking up feeling like you don't want to do it. So the circumstances around you are holding you back and you're looking at them going, yeah, I don't feel like it, as opposed to going, hey, my goal is to exercise because it's going to make me feel better. It's going to help me take action. It's going to help me push closer to my goals. That's even being resilient. You be resilient when you try to eat properly. Try to not eat the foods that are wrong for you. That requires resilience. You, you, you need resilience in partnerships when you're you know, with your partner, in building communication and not letting potentially arguments or when you feel bad at each other to hold you back and fall apart. Rather, you've got to push through that, acknowledge it, but keep pushing through it. That's still being resilient. So resilient is, is in everything that we do, mate. Absolutely. Tomorrow we're going to talk about the key thing. Hopefully we've given you, and I'm sure we have, all the steps to take to be positive, uh, to be resilient and have a positive outlook. But tomorrow Jet's going to share with us one of the things that possibly is the key to making all this work. Jet Xavier, back with me again tomorrow. Thank you, Kevin. The daily RE Uncut shows are supported by Printforce, Shore Agents, Rock End and CoreLogic. RE Uncut is one of the anchor shows at retplus.com, the home of property.